G'day guys, what's up? My name's Tommy and today I want to talk about a new portrait interview series that I want to do. And so obviously you guys know that I really love to take portrait photos of other people and when I meet other photographers, something else I really love to do is to get to know them and discover what their style is. I think the idea of every photographer having their own style really intrigues me and something else that I really love to learn is where that style comes from and how their own personalities show in their craft. So I'm making this new interview series focusing on other creators and photographers and asking the question, what does your photography say about you? So as you can read in the title, our first episode is with Julian Lalo. He's a photographer based in Melbourne, Australia, and I've been fortunate enough to meet him a couple years back at a Canon event. And so I hope you guys really enjoy this first episode of this interview series. Um, this topic really means a lot to me, and so please enjoy. So I'm a fashion and lifestyle photographer based in Melbourne. Shooting fashion is, is probably my passion. I also shoot a lot of food and a little bit of travel as well, just to help round out uh, photography as a full-time gig for me. Well, I actually started uh, photography because of Instagram. I used to be a big sneaker head, had a massive sneaker collection, and first bought a camera to start taking photos of my sneakers, documenting them and posting them on Instagram. My passion then sort of soon turned from the sneakers to the photography side of things. Met a lot of really cool people, uh, talented photographers along the way, and, and, um, and it all just sort of grew from there. My style is sort of something that's ever evolving. When I first started, in terms of people, when I first started shooting people, I was sort of very uh, portrait focused and like probably most photographers when they start out, they're always shooting with that, looking for that shallow depth of feel, that creamy bokeh. Whereas now that I've sort of moved a little bit more into fashion, I'm sort of shooting at that higher aperture, looking for more focus sort of right through, um, through the image and through the person focusing on garments as well as face and other features of the body. So um, my style has kind of moved in terms of shooting people has moved more towards a fashion sort of approach rather than the portrait approach that I started with. Uh, I'm not super dramatic when it comes to editing. I leave things quite natural, not too far away from the way they were shot in camera. As I move more towards the fashion style of photography, um, it's actually been a hard transition for me, but going to more warmer images, warmer tones, especially working on skin color and skin tone, going towards the warmer side. And sometimes to me, it looks a little orange, but to the client or to the viewer, that's what they want in terms of a, a fashion image. Sort of coming back to the way I edit and not doing anything too dramatic in terms of an editing style, I think what my photography says about me is that I like to take the beauty of what I see from the eye and translate it straight to a photo as opposed to manipulating it too much to something else. So I think what my photography says about me is that uh, I can appreciate the simple things and just like to translate what I see with my eye to an image. It's a good question. Um, one that you're going to need to give me a second to answer. <laughs> 